Good morning, kiddos. It's Miss Winson. Um, so what I'm gonna do uh, for the review portion of the remainder of um, the year is I'm giving you guys these worksheets and basically I'm gonna work out like a third to half as like our notes and then um, give you the remainder to do as an assignment. And I'm actually gonna um, also record me answering the remainder, but I'll release it a little bit later. So it gives you an opportunity to try, but then if you have questions, you can check it out. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with exponent review. All this stuff is getting you ready for topics, getting you ready for any classes you're gonna be taking in college. Um, Exponents are one of those things that you guys kind of dread when we first come in and um, just practice and, and getting used to them. The more you do them, the better you'll get. So we're going to review these. Um, I've got the right there all the exponent rules. So if you don't remember them, you should pause and write this down in your notes. If you do, then you're fine. Um, so we're just going to go through and um, use these while we do the odds. So I'm actually, um, I'm going to just start, um, number one's pretty mellow, so I'm going to start on number three. I'm going to do um, a third of these today. So I'm going to start with number three. Let me zoom in. All right, so I like number three. Oh, actually, I kind of like number two as well. I'll just do number two. So on this one, just very important, when you don't see parentheses around that negative, that means this is like a negative one times four squared. And then you need to use PEMDAS and do your exponents and then multiply. So that's gonna be a 16 times negative one. So that'll be negative 16. If you do have parentheses like on number seven, then it's just negative six times negative six times negative six. All right, and then for number three. Now, this question is just asking you to evaluate, um, in which case you could just say two cubed is eight and then times that by four. Um, but I just felt like getting twinky with this one. So I can also write four as two squared and then I've got two cubed. And now that the bases are the same, I, looking at our product rule, I just add those up. So that's going to be two to the fifth power. And two to the fifth power is two times two times two times two times two, which is, I think, 32. Probably shouldn't just use my calculator. Let's see. Boom. Got it. <laughs> All right, um, next one I want to look at is number six. Here's number six. All right, so this is one of the main rules um, that we need to remember. This is especially important if you're going on to calculus. And uh, remember when you go to college, most except for like maybe English, majors are going to have to know how to do uh, some form of calculus because it's just fundamental for everything. So um, so this right here has a negative exponent. So looking at our rules again, um, for our negative uh, exponent, that's going to shoot it down. And we've got that negative one hanging out in front again. So remember that negative, since it's not in parentheses, isn't really associated. In fact, I'm going to just write that as a negative one times five to the negative three, just to keep that negative one over there. All right, and then that negative five to the three, that's going to, I call it magic elevator button, boop, it's gonna go down. So we're gonna have negative one times one over five cubed. And then that's gonna be a negative one over five times five is 25 times five is 125. There's my final answer. All right, oops, sorry, cut that off. There we go. All right, next one, number nine. So on this one, the bases aren't the same, so I can't add those up. Um, what I need to do is evaluate each of these. So I'm gonna rewrite this one using our negative exponent rule. 
and that's going to be 1 over 8 plus 1 over 5. And um, we're going to have a fraction here. So we just need to get a common denominator, just like any other fraction you're adding together. Um, they don't have anything in common, so I'm going to just multiply top and bottom by 5, top and bottom by 8, and we're going to have 5 eighths plus 8 fifths. Oh, I'm sorry, 40ths, 40ths. And now that they do have a common denominator, we're going to have 13 40ths is our beautiful little answer. All right, next up. Number 12. So number 12, um, this is a fraction raised to a negative power. So this is like a fun little trick. Whenever you have a fraction raised to a negative exponent, just like a boop, like a little switch, and you can flip that fraction. And now your exponent is positive. And then we've got our little quotient rule. I don't really like the way the quotient rule is written out here, but anyway, that three applies to both the numerator and the denominator. So that is four to the third power over one to the third power. So that is four times four times four, which is 64. I just, I'm so not used to you guys like telling me the answer. So then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I need my positive reinforcement. I miss you guys. All right, so um, that's gonna be 64 over one, so 64. Boom. All right, next up, we've got number 15. It says write the expression as a positive, so that you have positive exponents. So again, that's our little exponent rule, so that's gonna be one over x to the fourth. Boom, easy peasy. Number 18, um, <clears throat> the only negative exponent I have is down here. So we're gonna magic elevator button him. Boop, he's gonna go to the top. So I've got x to the fourth over, now there's just a one down there, times x to the fourth, because that guy boop and just went up and that's going to be an x to the eighth power. And that's our final answer. It's got all positive exponents. Number 21. Okay. So um, here we've got that little negative exponent and we got a fraction. So we're going to use that trick again. So I'm just going to flip. So I've got, and I'm going to leave everything inside the same. I'm not even going to deal with the inside yet. That'll happen in a second. So that's going to be um, 3y to the negative 2 over 5x to the negative 2. All right. And um, here, the x to the 2 so that's with our to the one power. And since it's to the one power, it's just the same thing. So we're, we're done with that negative one. We dealt with it. We flipped. Now we've got a negative exponent and a negative exponent. So magic elevator button, boop, goes down. Magic elevator button, boop, goes up. And we have, and then the three and the five, they have no negative exponents. They're just chilling. So your three and your five are going to hang out where they are. But then that y goes down, and the x comes up. And that's it. All right, number 24. All right, this one looks fun. So this one is a fraction, but the negative exponent is just on top. So we can't do the whole flipperoo. But I am going to deal with that negative exponent first. And you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, you can distribute it to everything. I'm gonna just send everything downstairs and see what happens, because I see that I've got some common 
um, bases and so some fun stuff might happen there. Okay, so I'm gonna send that top part down, the whole thing. So up top, I've got nothing left, just a one. And then in the bottom, I've got four, x, y, to the negative two, all squared. And then I've got two, x, y, cubed. All right. So now I'm going to deal with that too, and I'm going to start distributing it. You can do it either way. There's so many ways to do exponents, um, but, and you kind of just get a feel and like do what you start liking to do. Um, kind of reevaluating this, I may have done it slightly different, but anyway, so let's start distributing that too. So I've got four, so one over. 4 squared is going to be 16. x squared, y to the negative 4, times 2, x, y cubed. All right. So now I'm going to combine some stuff. So I've got 1 over the 2 and the 16 is my 32. I've got an x squared and an x to the 1. When I multiply, that's our product rule, we're going to add those up. So that is x cubed. And then our y's, I've got a y to the negative 4 times y cubed. That's going to be y to the negative 1. And final, final answer, we're so close, I've got a magic elevator button to deal with. So we're going to go y over 32x cubed. Ta -da. Final answer. And last problem for the day. Well, for these notes. All right. Magic elevator button over a fraction. Going to deal with that. So let's flip our fraction. 5x to the seventh over negative six x to the fifth y to the negative fifth. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is squared. All right, and then um, let's deal with that too. We're gonna hear a lot of my kids in the background. That's just gonna be a thing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have um, five squared. 25, we're going to have our um, x to the 7, so that's going to be x to the 14th. So I'm just distributing that 2 to each, um, each value. Um, the negative 6 is also going to get squared because it's in this parentheses, that's going to be a positive 36. And then I've got x to the 10th, y to the negative 10th. Okay. Oops, sorry. All right. I also don't have you here in person to say we can't see it. <laughs> All right. So um, now let's just simplify. So I've got some x's on top. So when you um, have x's on the top and in the bottom, you're going to use the quotient rule and just simplify that. Um, and then I've got an elevator button is going to come up top. The 25 and the 36 don't have anything in common, so I can't reduce those. So I'm going to leave my 25 on top, leave my 36 on the bottom. I've got a x to the 14th and an x to the 10, so 14 minus 10 um, is going to be x to the 4th. So there's four extra x's on top. And then that y to the 10th, that's the magic elevator button, just goes boop up to the top. And that's it. All right, so those are your notes for today. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be posting me working out the solutions to the rest in a couple of days maybe. Um, just give you a chance to, to try and work on them yourself. Hopefully it feels like review. It doesn't feel too bad. Um, 
and then uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, have a great day, guys. Miss you. And I need to figure out how to stop recording. Stop recording.